All right, next section, 1 Samuel 19. Saul told his son Jonathan and all the attendants to kill David. But Jonathan had taken a great liking to David and warned him, My father Saul is looking for a chance to kill you. Be on your guard tomorrow morning. Go into hiding and stay there. I will go out and stand with my father in the field where you are. I'll speak to him about you and will tell you what I find out. Jonathan spoke well of David to Saul, his father, and said to him, Let not the king do wrong to his servant David. He has not wronged you, and what he has done has benefited you greatly. He took his life in his hands when he killed the Philistine. The Lord won a great victory for all Israel, and you saw it and were glad. Why then would you do wrong to an innocent man like David by killing him for no reason? And this time, Saul listened to Jonathan and took this oath. As surely as the Lord lives, David will not be put to death. So Jonathan called David and told him the whole conversation. He brought him to Saul, and David was with Saul as before. How did Jonathan show David true Christian friendship in this case? Yeah, and he really did that two ways. Uh, now I'm going to go back to our keynote. You guys remember uh, the, the memory clue for commandment eight? Lean over the gate. Do not bear false testimony against your neighbor. Um, so let's talk then about what that looks like. And, and we also heard earlier about sins of commission, which are the things we do, and sins of omission, which are the things we often don't do. So in the Eighth Commandment, a sin of commission is when we speak poorly about someone else. Right? We gossip about them, we betray a confidence, we tear them down. But what's the sin of omission? Isn't that when we hear someone else ripping down our buddy, but we back off? We don't want to be caught in the crossfire, or maybe we just want to stay out. We don't say anything negative ourselves, but we also don't stand up and defend the brother. Not only does Jonathan defend David and say, why would you want to kill him, Dad? He's innocent. He also does the positive thing. He speaks well of him. He says, remember, Dad, he was the only one who was willing to take on the Philistine. And when David killed Goliath, that was to your benefit. The whole kingdom benefited, and you were the king. This is to your benefit and your glory. Right? So, so not only does Jonathan not sin, he actually does exactly what God wants. He defends and speaks well of David. Next section.